All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my uh, YouTube channel today. In my video today, I want to talk about Simon the Sorcerer in the book of Acts chapter 8. And there are those who teach that Simon the Sorcerer uh, never was saved to begin with. And when we look at the scripture, we can understand that the Bible is very clear on on the salvation of Simon uh, the Sorcerer. In the book of Acts chapter Acts chapter. Uh, 8 and I'm going to start reading from verse 9 the Bible say but there was a certain man called Simon which before time in the city in the same city you sorcery and bewitch the people of Samaria giving out that he himself was great one so we say the identity of Simon the sorcerer like he he was a magician and he uses manipulation to bewitch the people of the land and then the Bible tells us in, in verse 13, the Bible said, Then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wonder, beholding the miracles and the signs which were done by him. Now we can see in this passage of the scripture that the Bible tells us that, you know, when Philip preached the Bible, he preached the kingdom of God in verse 12. The Bible said, I mean, but when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. So after uh, Simon the sorcerer, he saw the testimony and the people believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, he also, you know, submitted himself uh, to the gospel of Christ and he believed the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible said after he believed the gospel, he was baptized and he continued with Philip. Now I want you to think about this. In the book of Acts chapter 2, the Bible said they that gladly received his word were baptized the same day they were added unto them 3,000 souls and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. So we can see the same pattern here in this passage of the scripture that you know he believed. Now what does a person has to do to be saved? The Bible says, you know, you have to believe Jesus Christ and you will be saved. And in the book of Acts chapter 16, verse 30 and 31. Now, if you follow Ring Comfort, Ring Comfort will try to tell you that because, you know, uh, Simon the sorcerer later on, he, he, he lost it after things that it was not supposed to lost after. Then it was not a good convert in the first place. He used the term, it was a first convert and that will be further from the truth okay because we can understand that listen now even though you are saved sometimes believers they have wrong desires okay they have they desire wrong things they desire the things that are not according to the will of god things that they were not supposed to have the same thing happened and i will prove to you in this same passage that you know even after he lost it and he was rebuked by, by peter you know what he said he said pray that none of these things okay none of these things happen to me we can see the genuineness of you know uh of simon the sorcerer because of the found faith because he can see the difference between what he used to do and when he believed in jesus christ he continued he saw something different and that was the reason why even when he lost it after evil things and it was rebuked he was able to find out that hey i was wrong hey peter you are right and he was saying hey, i need to make amendment for this so i'm saying that listen what the Bible says about Simon the sorcerer in verse 13 is true. Simon the sorcerer believed Jesus Christ. He was baptized and he continued with Philip. Now, and that is one thing you need to understand about salvation. Salvation only comes when you believe in Jesus Christ that he died, he was buried, and he resurrected. His blood was shed to cover my sin. And you turn from your dead works, you turn to Christ alone for salvation. You see from your dead works, you turn to Christ for salvation. And that is the only way a person can be saved. All right, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video. If this video has been a blessing, uh, I would appreciate your subscription. And God bless you. I will see you next time.